Hi, my name is Alan Ake. I'm Vice President of Applications Engineering and Technical Marketing at Gorilla RF, located in Greensboro, North Carolina. And I'm here today to talk about two new broadband high linearity gain blocks that we've announced at MTT. Those are our GRF2013 and GRF3013 devices. I'll start talking about the GRF3013 first. That is a SOT89 five volt gain block that um, delivers industry leading output IP3 and output compression point over a frequency range from near DC up to four gigahertz in uh, bandwidth. Um, that part runs from a regulated five volt supply and it can be a drop-in replacement for some industry standard SOT89 gain blocks from some of the major vendors in the industry. Another device that I'd like to talk about is our GRF2013. It's a very similar die, but we offer that in a 1.5 millimeter by 1.5 millimeter DFN6 package. That package allows us to offer a V-enable input which gives you the ability to control IDDQ independently from the VDD of the device. That means you can set the device to operate at three volts and perhaps 20 milliamps, or five volts and 70 milliamps, or in some cases up to eight volts for higher compression point applications. All that optimized depending on the linearity requirements of your application. The device operates very well from near DC to four gigahertz with extremely good IP3 in the plus 40 dBm and more range. And in the case of eight volt operation, output P1dB in excess of 25 dBm from a few hundred megahertz up to 3.8 to four gigahertz. Um, an interesting application that we recently found for that device is as a broadband saturated amplifier for another broadband gallium nitride PA offering PSAT of greater than 26 dBm from 200 megahertz up to 2600 megahertz with a supply of VDD, a VDD supply of eight volts. For more information about these devices, please contact GorillaRF.com and you can find all the data sheets and the technical information you need there.